this is a female garlic tick. Um, this is about the size of sesame seed. Um, but um, the, the nymph stage, they're about the size of poppy seed. And over the past five years, we've seen an increased number, but also they are covering a larger area of southern Ontario. And with those increases comes the increased risk of Lyme disease. So ticks are cousins of spiders, so they have uh, eight legs. Just, and just like spiders, they can fly or jump. What they will do is they crawl onto a uh, tip of these grass, long grass. And then uh, the, benefit of ha the benefit of having eight legs is they use the last two pairs to hold on to the tip of the vegetation. And then use the first uh, two legs, two pairs of legs to try to grab onto you. Ticks can um, carry a a few different diseases and uh, by Lyme disease by far is the most common. The number has steadily increasing over the years. These guys, they're, they're really smart and they like to feed on warm places. And then so uh, when you get home, make sure you check your hairline, your ears, back your neck, arm, your armpit and between your legs. These warm places like these takes, they, they love to feed on. And these signs are just to remind visitors of our, of our conservation area to check uh, for ticks, we take a sharp uh, pointy tweezer and then um, just pull the tweezer up. Uh, some people suggest you can burn them off or suffocate them. No, those methods are not going to work. And the, the goal here is to take the ticks off in one piece. The, the only one in our region that can carry Lyme disease, uh, the bacterium that causes Lyme disease, is the black leg tick. And they're one of the smallest species, so they're they're pretty problematic and uh, when we search our uh, body for, for ticks, we really do have to be careful. Well, the best thing to do is to make sure you stick to pathways and don't wander into the grass or larger vegetation. For more information on how to remove ticks, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. At Courtright Centre, Audra Brown, City News.